bagel windows. Like a nun or a nurse. Well, 
Sometimes I guess nurses like say if anybody's ever been to been to Riley Hospital, Riley Hospital, you see a lot of old photos like that mm -hmm. around there. Any questions? Okay, let's head to the next room. Off this way. Facebook page and website, and uh, here if you want to take a picture. Awesome. So this is like the secret hiding place behind you. Though. Actually, what it is back um, there's a stairway that leads down to the kitchen. Oh, okay. Oops. Like when um, like workers, like when Alexander had workers here and stuff like that. Oh. Instead of going throughout the whole house, all you had to do was go down. I used to say midnight snack. Why not? There you go. You know, his name's his office. Didn't they used to go like overnight? <laughs> yes, we still do. Do you? Yes. Um, go to the website. Which one is that? Uh, it's www.hannahmansion.org. And um, if you see the tab that says Haunted, click that tab and it will lead you to another page. And um, you'll see a link to the website. Or not, I'm sorry, email. Um, just go ahead and contact the email and explain it <laughs> and whatever. Then <laughs> someone next I honestly don't know. But I'm going to say, if you want to schedule one of your own, all you got to do is just uh, contact to see what dates we have open. And, you know, all you got to do, you can schedule your own date. Okay, we're ready for the basement. Right here. Yeah. Ready for the basement? It, it's pretty much modernized now. Yeah. Yeah, we just keep it as a modernized kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, usually pretty much modernized. Like when people do investigation service from the floor, I hang out. Like, no kitchen. So my lab. Is that the bathroom? Oh, 
So they are still down there someplace, supposedly in this room. Um, and a lot of people think that some of the paranormal activity and whatnot that mm -hmm. is sensed here in the house is related to the spirits of these seven slaves that were buried here. The room on the other side of the basement was the coal storage room at the time, and it took an entire train car full of coal to heat this house for one winter. Wow. Fortunately, the green track is right out behind the house, basically, here, except it's wow. part of the 300 acres that Mr. Hanna owned. Um, so it was convenient to have the coal brought into the house from there. Um, they probably told you upstairs that um, Madison Avenue out here in front of the house was a toll road at the time. Anybody coming into or going out of Indianapolis on Madison Avenue had to pay Mr. Hanna a toll to use the street. <laughs> so in addition to livestock and farming and his various business interests, he also made money on people traveling back and forth to the city in front of his house. It was very convenient for him. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they probably also told you he was a fairly short person. Yeah, yeah. So you know about him riding around on a pony and all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much the story from here. Several people today have said when they've been down here, they've like felt... Something just tap them gently on the shoulder. I just did. No, you just did. Okay. Well, yeah, I, and it wasn't always me. So there we go. That only came from 